Hello, my name is Campbell Hartley and I am currently a senior at the University of Mary Washington. Margaret Sutton spent much of her life living and working in New York City, where she was able to draw inspiration from the blossoming art movements happening there, as well as her own observations and experiences of energetic city life. Sutton's 1952 pen and ink drawing, untitled Figures with Child, Cat, and Pears, is not much bigger than a postcard, but is endlessly captivating and full of depth and abstractions. The work exhibits a wide variety of characters that are made up of obscure shapes that fit into each other in order to fill the space. While each character varies in shapes and sizes, a unifying factor is their theatrical appearance and attire they all possess. Sutton was often inspired to depict circus scenes, as evident in a number of other pen and ink drawings she completed at this time. The figure in the very center is contained within what appears to be a circus ring, and is wearing a more formal shirt with detailed buttons and an elaborate collar. He is also holding a tasseled rope or ribbons to suggest perform performance props. All of the characters hidden within the composition are depicted using decorative shapes and patterns in order to show the life and energy of the circus. Sutton's use of detailed stippling and exaggerated fig features offers a celebratory and fantastical mood to the work. The fluidity of her line work and biomorphic shapes create movement and urges the viewer to dig deeper into the abstraction of characters. Other figures to take note of are the two cats at the bottom of the fr frame, each to the left and right of the center character. Cats are a common motif in Sutton's work, but there is much variety in the styles in which she draws them in. The cat on the left, for example, is bigger than some of the human figures in this work and is drawn with more stippled detail to depict realistic fur, whiskers, and even eyelashes, while the cat on the right is much more abstract and is made up of angular shapes. This particular drawing is an example of Sutton's abstract drawing style to depict her actual experiences of the circus and life in New York City. The wide variety of characters she draws is a representation of how populated the city was with such a unique array of people. By investigating this work as well as many other drawings by Sutton completed during this time, we are able to gain a better understanding of how she experienced life in the city as well as the energy she drew inspiration from.